guys, those who, who always ask what's the difference between MicroStation and AutoCAD, um, in this video, I will show you how to use the increment of a MicroStation. First, we need to make sure that this text is on the middle center justification, same as AutoCAD. Um, now, I'm going to increment this into one to create an, a terminal 1 to 25. So I'll put one here and uh, yeah, make and also get the, the distance between each terminals. I know it's 0.25. So and now on every step it will count 0.25 exactly as it is. Um, now I'll be creating 1 to 25. You can do your timer if you want. That's um, that's how MicroStation works. You don't have to edit the text. Um, I, I still lots of um, lots of tips and tricks um, on the AutoCAD and MicroStation, um, but I can't remember all of those so if you want guys you can you can make a comment on this video so I can create one for you okay now we have 1 to 25 now we're going to the AutoCAD how to increment the AutoCAD uh, 25 terminals um, before AutoCAD don't have this they just created an LSP for this one call it the T count. Now I'm going to make an array, a rectangular array. Um, okay, and um, one in column 25 and minus 20.25 of this. So I've got the, this one, but I, guys, we need to explode this one because we can't, we can't do the T count command if this is not exploded. Okay, um, now it is on a single entity. We can now type the T count command and uh, just follow the what says on the menu bar. So 25, let's see. Okay, it should supposed to be on the Y coordinates. And one is to one, one and one uh, number override it. Yes, I want to override it. Now you got the the 1 to 25 terminals my question is what if we have a dif different location on uh, to increment the the numbers how can microstation and autocad deal with it um okay the, this one the next one i'll show you how how we can we can do work on the micro station easy just put it on the different areas I'll start to one again okay um, now I'll do the copy increment again increment text and from there you automatically magneting to the center of the balloon and also automatically incrementing the increasing each one one of the copy so let's see how it works in AutoCAD so I'll make a copy of this I'll make maybe I can move this uh, balloons to close to, to so I can I can just copy the the, the text 1 to 1 to 10 what do you think um, now I, I, I think I think let's let's do this uh, fairly. Let's do this fairly. Um, let's move it back again, um, and then let's start copying the the text and editing it. So, what do you think, guys? I think in this uh, different placement, I say. Hooray to MicroStation Bentley, but uh, 
on the on the other on the terminal side I said may I say hooray to Autodesk or AutoCAD they they done a great job doing those those uh, T command LSP so yeah guys there's still lots of uh, lots of uh, tips and trips uh, tips and tricks in this kind of in this software so maybe the best thing to do is just make a comment so so I'll remember all the all the things I know okay guys and uh, happy watching watch out for my next video and please please do subscribe so you can follow my next videos thank you guys and see you next time